I've been gone a while. Yes. I feel like my spirituality was, went dormant. Definitely went dormant for, it was like five months. It went dormant for like five months. I can't remember the last video I made. I updated you guys about it a little bit. I think it was like in November or something like that. Even then, I was still really struggling. I guess to find my way back to my path. Well, I say that. I wasn't even really trying, to be honest. I was just, just kind of relaxing and taking care of myself and just waiting for the mood to strike, basically. I think that's what you have to do sometimes. You know, you can't force it. That makes it worse. I guess I had a sort of burnout, spiritual burnout. And a lot of it had to do with things that were beyond my control. So, like I said, um, instead of trying to force it, I just kind of sat back and relaxed. You know, I've still been working on my health, my fitness, that has really helped me through this whole time. That's what I've focused on since uh, last August, the end of last August. But now I think it, um, I am feeling it. I am feeling it now. I wanna do stuff, I wanna make videos. I wanna do rituals. I wanna do magic. I wanna do magic. I want to be magic. And I wanna share that with you guys. I kept thinking about what do I want to do this year? What do I want this year to be about? What do I want to show you guys this year? What do I want to share? So I asked myself, you know, what did I enjoy the most? What was the most fun? And really towards the end, whenever I started being more creative with my video editing, that was so much fun. I really enjoy that. I really, really enjoy that. I think that I'll just focus on just sharing my life with you, sharing parts of me. And if you want to watch that school, but you know, I want to keep it creative. I want to keep it low maintenance. There won't be any programs. There won't be any monthly guides or challenges or prompts. I don't want to do any of that. I tried that. I don't want to do any of that. You know, I want the freedom to continue exploring myself. Because that's what this is about. It's not about what you're doing and what I'm doing. It's about exploring yourself, exploring your own path, ultimately. It's all about what's inside. And so there's no way that anyone can truly, truly relate to another's path, really, so incredibly, deeply personal. Today has been about clearing, clearing and opening space. So I did a lot of the mundane cleaning and now I'm ready to clean up my altar. I have a lot of stuff I need to get rid of and a lot of stuff I need to go through. I've been trying to think of a good word to focus on for 2017 because I do enjoy like power words or whatever, whatever you want to call it. And I think for this year, the word is going to be strong. And in that, I want to be strong in everything that I do. Especially, I want to be strong whenever it comes to being vulnerable. I want to be strong enough to be open and vulnerable to the people around me. I want to be strong enough to live in the moment. Almost all of 2016, I felt like I was living the future. I was constantly waiting to see what's going to happen, you know, what will happen next. I'm just doing this for the time being until this happens. It was all about tomorrow and next month and the month after that. It was not about now. And that is where a lot of the toxicity in my spirituality kind of happened. 
I was so, I got too obsessed with the outcome. What is the outcome gonna be? What's the outcome? And it's kind of like walking up the stairs and being afraid that you won't make it to that very top step and you're not paying attention to the steps that you're on so you fall down anyways that is a lot how it is that's what i would say it would be like that's how it felt at least and it's weird because i don't want to say the word setback i don't want to say the word hindrance because i wasn't really hindered or set back from anything do you know it just was Things didn't happen the way that I expected them to happen. Um, there was no outcome. Or the outcome that I had predicted did not come to fruition, which is incredibly disappointing. Uh, if you've ever been through anything like that, I truly feel for you because that is incredibly disappointing to have you know, hopes and dreams about something and then it just doesn't happen. It's a horrible, horrible feeling. And a feeling that I'm all too familiar with here at the beginning of 2017. That's why I know I need to focus on right now, this moment, what I have now, not what I want, not what I will have, not what I'm waiting for now. Sitting here talking to you guys, just being present. I'm gonna be present for 2017. Well, I'm all done cleaning all of that shit up. Thank God it took forever. I have mopped in here and I'm waiting. It's still a little damp. I'm still waiting for it to dry again. But yeah, I wanted to move it and I decided to switch corners. So this is the corner that the altar was in. And it's going to be my little yoga corner. Directly across from it is where I put the altar. I thought it was nice. It's next to the window. As you can see, I still have a lot of shit. So much shit. But it's better. Now I'll, I can use this chair and sit over here at my altar. Or I can sit here and talk to you guys. Whatever. Now it is time for yoga. Squat down. Tell everybody who you have. Hey guys, I'm Mags. <laughs> Mag Hatter. Back with another daily witchy video. And witch and moon. Hey everybody, I'm witch and moon. Back with another witchy video. Pick Bella back up. Share everybody Bella. It's too late, she's gone. She's coming back. Get her! This is my cat Bella. She looks heavy, but she weighs like three ounces. <laughs> Maybe. Her heart is beating about 300 beats a minute at the moment. Say hi, Bella. Hey. <laughs> she loves being held and cuddled and played with. She hates it. Look at her belly. Look at how pissed she looks. She's she looks not happy. What's wrong? Hold <laughs> your tail up. <laughs> <laughs> Look how petted you with your own tail. <laughs> Alright, let that baby down. She hates it. Bella, what's wrong? Okay. Oh, you had an itch the whole time and I wouldn't scratch it. Tell her one bye. Bye? Uh -huh. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye, Jason. Bye, Jason. <laughs> Stop it.